Hi, welcome to Beginning Engineers. This is the third part in my three-part series about the value chain and the value grid. This video seeks to compare the pros and cons of each approach and issue a verdict on which one is more practical for an engineer or business person to use. Before watching this video, I would recommend that you watch my video on the value chain and my video on the value grid. I have a separate video for each that goes into what they are and how they are used with some good examples. First, let's talk about the pros of each approach. Value chain clearly defines a corporation's operational segments and support segments. With clearly defined inputs and outputs, management can create improvement initiatives to focus on one or few areas to see tangible results. It can be used as a way to analyze other companies for competitive purposes or investment purposes. So in summary, the value chain is very clear and straightforward and gives a few simple things to focus on, at least in terms of improvement initiatives. For analyzing the value, you have to consider it all. Pros of the value grid. It captures the business landscape in multiple directions and gives considerations for each direction. The value grid puts a strong emphasis on new opportunities for growth and leveraging existing strengths to take advantage of new situations. What are the cons of each approach? Value chain. It's focused on the vertical components of a business and nothing else. It lacks risk management activities. What are the negatives of the value grid? It offers broad guidelines for improvement areas to consider broad guidelines. It's not really as specific as the value chain. The value grid is inherently complex and dynamic and does not have defined boundaries. It was created that way. My verdict. The value grid is better because it encourages a broad view of the business landscape and encourages those who use it to think in terms of opportunity and risk mitigation. Risk mitigation has a strong overlap with the engineering mindset, so I think those of you who are looking to become engineers or are already engineers and want to adapt more of a business mindset, I think the value grid is an easy fit because so much of it is framed from a risk mitigation standpoint. It's also not really the most fair comparison because the value grid does build on the value chain, so it isn't asking users to throw away the value chain but rather to realize that real life can't be so easily defined with simple functions like the value chain has. In reality, it's good to learn both and see situations where either can be applied. Thank you so much for watching this video, and hopefully you already watched the value chain video and the value grid video. I think it's important to include some videos that aren't always as technical engineering, because a good rounded engineer knows some of these business concepts, especially the value chain, and I think in the future, the value grid. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe. Have a great day.